कौशिक गसी कबी रंगारी रसी बंबारी रवस्यु रसी दुवस्वान चुंदयु रसी मार जाली यह सम्राडसी कृषानो हूं परिषद्दयो असी पवमानो नबो असी प्रतक व मृष्टो असी हव्य सूदन रित धामासी स्वर ज्योति ही नमस्ते टू ऑल दिस इज एजुर्वेद मंत्रा 5 बाय 32 a really wonderful mantra which speaks about the stuti of almighty god almighty god has given all the knowledge in the vedas as i have told in my previous videos if you are new to my channel please see my other videos i have made more than 1300 videos so far so the mantra meaning is very very beautiful marshi danan saraswati writes in one of his book who oh, almighty god dear to all you are the most enchanting by your very nature this is why all the people long to have a vision of yours you are kavi the possessor of most transcending foresight and perfect knowledge you are the foe of evil and as such are hostile to the sins of your devotees in as much as you destroy all their sins here we have to note that god does not forgive our sins god destroys our sins only when we start following the righteousness dharma if we are trying to show drama that okay i am following vedas i am following dharma but then silently doing adharma then god never forgives our sins god will start forgiving the sins only when he f- fully understands that we are not in a position to do any further sins in the life then he forgives our sins otherwise he never forgives any of our sins he gives punishment further marshi writes you are the supporter and protector of all your devotees and the whole universe as such you are always desirous of giving victuals and all other necessary goods to the righteous that is your devotees victuals means food etc shelter food and other necessary things you are surely worthy of being served by the learned you are pure by your very nature and also the purifier of the whole universe you alone and no one else is the dispeller of the sins you are the mighty king of all the kings and the imparter of felicity to the poor and the weak now this is the definition of almighty god people today they have made their own definitions of almighty god that somebody says allah is god somebody says jesus is god somebody says krishna is god or durga is god etc but this is the true stuti of almighty god stuti means to speak truth god has given the knowledge of vedas about himself you see in each and every line he is introducing his nature he is introducing his quality he is introducing who is almighty god further marshi writes o lord dispenser of justice you are the ordainer of the sacred human assemblies where men outshine one another the noble master and leader of such assemblies you are dear to them all and their savior also so this sacred assembly means yajna yajna is a place where all the noble people assemble to worship almighty god in the presence of a brahma brahma means a person who has realized almighty god that is acharya of vedas so god is the real leader of such assemblies you are by your very nature holy sanctifying and thus the donor of legitimate happiness in the world through such assemblies indeed you are holy and dear to all ho oh, immutable one you are unperturbable like a welkin and being the most subtle one of all the beings you are known by the epithet all enveloping here welkin means space or sky so god is more subtle than even the sky or space that's why he is called as all enveloping you are knower of all the distinguisher of truth and falsehood and the preserver of the evidence of the deeds of all the mankind to the end so that everybody should get the fruit of his good or bad actions and that the result of any one's action should accrue to nobody else see this is the quality of almighty god god does not give the result of my deeds to anybody else and does not give the result of anybody else deeds to me so that's what this mantra is clarifying that this is the quality of almighty god he is always giving us justice that's why he is called as supreme judge in this mantra also you are by nature untainted and in fact you are the sweeper of all the evils 
and the cleanser of sinners of their sins you are the purifier through nature or by human agency of air currents by diffusing in the atmosphere savory fragrant disease preventive curative and nutritive materials you see god is giving the knowledge of yagna here you can purify the air currents by human action means god gives the knowledge of how to do yagna and in the yagna we have to use such materials such as fragrant materials or nutritive materials or disease preventive materials and burn them in the fire by chanting ved mantras thereby the atmosphere gets purified and god also creates the sun moon and other flowers etc to naturally pur- purify the atmosphere also but the purification done by an yagna is much more than the natural purification hence being the differentiator of all the things as fit or unfit for animal consumption you are called the effuser of all things useful for life O oh, almighty god your abode that is your place is the truth that pervades all your truthful nature you dwell only in real and truthful ways of dealings and not in falsity you are bliss by your very nature and are thus the bestower of bliss in this whole world you are self effulgent and the imparter of luster to all you see the qualities of almighty god beautifully described in this mantra somebody was asking me today morning that how do you know that only maharishi dhanan saraswati's bhashya is correct and other bhashyas you are saying that shankara bhashya is not correct or sayana bhashya is not correct etc this is always known only by understanding the comments of the mantra and also verifying with an acharya for example maharishi dhanan saraswati's ajurveda bhashya we have verified that is my acharya's disciples we have verified with our acharya and my acharya always says that maharishi dhanan saraswati's commentaries are perfect and matching with the vedic sanskrit and vedic knowledge thank you so much namaste om